as difficult as this is, this is going to affect Farmington for a very long time. The people who were injured today in Gill were part of their full-time staff, and they were the ones who were the primary call. And we all know how difficult it is to man fire departments within the state, and this is really significantly going to impact Farmington and the surrounding communities. Farmington is very busy, they're very professional, and uh, it's going to be a struggle to uh, overcome this loss. Sheriff, as one of the first people on scene, I know we have not been able to be up that far yet, but we've seen some pictures and such. Can you just describe for us what the scene is like up there? You know, I spent a year in Iraq, it's about the closest I can ex ex explain it. It was just total devastation. I've never seen destruction like that in my career. I've been in law enforcement 35 years. I've never seen anything like that before in my life, except overseas. It was horrible. Um, I, I know some of us have heard reports that there had been a school bus that had picked up some people a little while before all of that. Is that something you can speak about? Could there have been more people inside of that building when this happened? I, yeah, yeah. There are, you know, there are some there. There's some trailers behind the scene, um, but I'm not specifically aware. I guess, you know, it would be about that time of day. Um, but I'm, I don't have any specifics on that. While we were out there conducting recovery, we were able to come across several uh, people living out there and children, and everybody appeared to be fine, but sh shaken, but fine. Yeah. But the devastation is just incredible.